up, gentlemen? So when it comes to seasonal style mistakes, summer is the worst offender. It seems like as the temperature rises, so does the volume of style sins. Gentlemen, here's the deal. Today, I'm gonna hook you up and help you look amazing in summer. I'm gonna be going over the seven summer style rules that all men should follow. Number one, polo shirts. Gentlemen, all polo shirts were definitely not created equal. And if you don't want to look like a dork this summer, you got to follow a few specific rules. Proper polo shirt selection is critical to you looking amazing this summer. Now, I personally feel like every dude should have three polos in his wardrobe. Navy blue, white, and black. In terms of pattern, I would always opt for solid as opposed to some type of stripe. And the reason is because stripe polo shirts, in my opinion, give the illusion of being a little bit younger. They all also make you look a little bit wider as opposed to sleek, stylish, and sexy in solid. The last two polo rock and rules, gentlemen, is all about the two Fs, fit and fabric. In terms of perfect polo fit, gentlemen, it's all about being a little bit snug up in the shoulders and the chest and not super tight down in the body. And the sleeves, you want to make sure that you've got a little tricep exposure in order to make your arms look a little bit larger. In terms of fabrics, most polo shirts you're going to find are going to be that like weird peaked cotton, right? A little bumpy, weird little weave. Well, I personally have found that polo shirts that are a little higher quality are going to be a little bit better. The fabric is going to be a little bit smooth, it's going to last longer, and it's going to look better. You can also find polos like the one that I'm wearing that actually are in a wool. It's a lightweight wool that's going to look incredible, but they're definitely going to be a little dressier. The second summer style rule all men should follow is that white shoes need to be white. So the white minimal leather sneaker, whether or not it's leather or it's canvas, guys, is a summer style staple that I feel every dude should own. But one of the things that absolutely kills your white sneakers ability to look super stylish and sexy is if it's all nasty and dirty. Scuffed up leather, discolored white laces, or those white soles if they get like dirty. Guys, the one solution I will tell you is the magic eraser. This thing is incredible. Just wet it and go over the dirty area. Now, another solution and something that I love is the gum sole. All right, if you're somebody who doesn't want to spend a lot of time keeping their sneakers super clean, you could always rock something like this, all right? The gum sole is a lot more durable in terms of not getting dirty. The third summer style rule all men should follow is that their denim should be light. For fall and winter, your dark wash denim is going to be your best choice. But spring and summer, baby, it is all about the light wash denim, right? The light wash denim looks amazing in the warmer months. This outfit right here is as close to summer perfection as it gets, right? I'm rocking that super sexy navy pole. I got my white kicks on, my light wash jeans, and I've got a super fun casual fabric Anson belt, which brings us to number four. The fourth summer style rule is go bold with your accessories. Everything from those badass NATO straps to those fantastic fabric belts. So check it out. What makes this outfit a little better, a little more badass, is the fact that I'm not wearing a basic boring belt. I'm spicing it up a little bit with this badass fabric belt. Anson belts are, in my opinion, the best belts out there on the market. And one of the main reasons is because, check it out, ready? Notice there are no holes. There are zero holes in the Anson belt. And so they're gonna look smoother, they're gonna look sexier, and they're not gonna get all beat up and whack like your current belt. This is what happens if you've got a standard belt. You get all these notches and holes and it gets worn out. The genius behind the Anson belt is all about that track system. It's micro adjustments. And so all you do, ready, listen, wait for it hear it and then it locks it into place and then underneath you got a little trigger that you press and release they've got a crazy selection of incredible belts guys they've got not only these badass fabric belts which i personally think are amazing for summer they've got leather you got black you got brown you got cognac you also have like suede you've got brown suede tan suede you've got black suede guys they've also got like more casual belts that are a little bit thicker but guys i'm telling you if you are in the more even if you're not in the market, if you have not tried an Anson belt, guys, now is the time because they are perfect for summer. These fabric belts are amazing. Seriously, have you ever seen a more badass belt than that, right? The gray fabric with the black matte classic Anson buckle. Here's the beautiful thing about the buckles, guys. They're all interchangeable, right? You got a little flip, right, like that. Grab another strap and then all you do, guys, stick it in there, right, and then clip it into place. And then you are all set with another incredible 
incredible belt. This is another one of my favorites and go-tos, the black on black. Seriously, it doesn't get any sexier than that. They have a ton of different incredible buckles for you to choose from that are all interchangeable. The other amazing thing about Anson belts, guys, they come one size fits all. When you get it, all you have to do, guys, is thread it through your belt loops, measure it, cut it, and attach your buckle, and you are ready to rock. Guys, there's a link down below to AnsonBelt.com. Now, there's no fancy discount code or anything like that because Anson Belts are already priced amazing. The best deal they got going on is a box set, right, where you pick three straps, two buckles, or three buckles, two straps for under $100. You get the mix and match. Maybe you want two fabrics, one leather, two leather, all leather. You pick, guys. It is a ridiculous deal. I'm telling you, you're going to love them. Anson belts also make an amazing gift because they come one size fits all and who doesn't need a badass belt. The fifth summer style rule is all about shorts. Gentlemen, here's the deal. I'm going to make it as simple as possible. If they're big, if they're baggy, if they come down past your knee, toss them. One of the worst mistakes that so many dudes make in the summer is that they're wearing shorts that are just too big. In the leg, they're too baggy, makes their calves look super tiny and small. And since we're talking about shorts, we got to move on to the Six summer style rule, which is jean shorts are cool. They're also easy to make. All right, grab a pair of jeans that you don't wear anymore, and then you're gonna grab a pair of shorts that fit you well. And what you're going to do is match up the back, and you are going to lay out the jeans and the shorts, all right? And so the reason you're doing this, you're actually creating a template. One of the big mistakes that a lot of guys make is that they'll just cut off the jeans straight. When the reality is that when you put them on, you need them to have a little bit of an angle. Now, I am going to be trying to duplicate these shorts right here, right? All right, they are a pair of jean shorts that I made and I cuffed them up a little bit. And so I know that I need to leave a little bit of extra room in order to be able to cuff them. And so grab a pair of scissors and I'm gonna make them about an inch and a half longer than the length I want. And then I am just going to follow the angle of the short that I am using as the template. And I'm gonna do that on both sides and then try them on. Cuff them up and Perfect. So I know that jean shorts get a bad rap, but in my opinion, they're like the bad boy of shorts, right? Because you wear jeans in the winter and the fall, why not jean shorts in the summer? Now, I wouldn't necessarily dress these up with a pair of loafers and a nice polo, but if you're just going casual, guys, a pair of sneaks, a t-shirt, these things are amazing. And last, but certainly not least, the seventh summer style rule that all men should follow is about sunglasses, all right? There is no better style accessory in the summer than a cool ass pair of shades. They make every outfit look better. But all sunglasses were definitely not created equal. The thing you need to understand, guys, is do not try to go over the top with super trendy styles, right? The really round ones or the really big ones or the ones with the flat lenses, guys. It's about timeless styles which are going to make you look better and your glasses more stylish longer. Avoid trendy styles like the flat lenses or the geometric shape, guys. They're not going to be stylish much longer. A few other sunglass wearing rules. Never wear them inside or else you're going to look like a douche. And so when you enter a building, you've got three steps before they are off. They do not go on your head. And the reason is because your hair product is going to get all over the lenses and make them all nasty. Also, the temple pieces can get stretched out if you're wearing them on your big fat head. Instead, what I'd recommend, boom, thread the temple piece through the buttonhole, right? And then what you're left with right there. And so you can jump around, you can move around, and those glasses are staying locked. Summertime is amazing. Unfortunately, summertime is also the time of year when so many dudes make some simple, basic style mistakes that absolutely kills their super sexy style. But hopefully, if you implement and stick to these super simple seven summer style rules, you will look caliente.